This is part two of the assembly of the gliding parachute. My name is Tim Van Milligan and thanks for watching this. Um, in our last step, we had glued on the bulkhead to the um, eBay sled plate. Um, now we're going to start gluing up some things. Now there's these two uh, wooden uh, strips. Um, the, one of them is going to be glued right up against the bulkhead like this. Um, so you can use thick or medium CA. I got some medium here. And this is going to go right along here. And then I want to get some glue on the, the wood itself. Just kind of center it up. Doesn't have to be perfect. There's my paper towel. Just wipe off the excess. And then this is going to be accelerator, just so that it goes on there quicker. Okay, so that's one of them. Um, now we're going to take the servo, and the servo is going to fit into this little slot. So we're going to um, we want this spine up here up and then we actually want it this way as far away from the bulkhead as possible. So first route the wire down through it and then you got to kind of tilt it sideways so you can get the wire through without crimping it and then push it down. And then you see this other one, it's going to be glued right here like this. All right, so I'm just going to put it in place. Actually, I'll just slide it up. Put some glue on the bottom. Lift up my servo a bit. We're not gluing it to the servo, we're gluing it to the plate and then push the servo down onto it, like that. All right, so now the servo can still slide up and down, and we want to lock that down, um, and we're going to use some screws. So now, this are all the servo arms and the stuff that was in the little plastic bag. If you look carefully, there's two little wood screws right there, and those wood screws are what we're going to use to um, glue it down, or not glue it down, screw it down to the, to the wood. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill some pilot holes uh, right through the holes on the servo um, to make these easier to screw in. And this is a 16th inch drill bit. A dull bit. I went all the way through the sled. That's okay. Just be careful. Just be careful on this one because you don't want to uh, run the drill bit through those wires because at that point the, the servo is messed up. Um, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is, and then I'm going to put the screw in the hole, and then just take a little tiny um, Phillips, and we're just going to screw that down. Okay, so that's one. This one's going to be a little harder because it's a little tighter in there. So I'm just kind of putting it on, holding it with my finger, dropping it in, and screwing it down. Okay. Yeah, it does not come out the bottom, so now this is locked down, so that's fine. All right, so 
we're moving along here. All right, what's our next step? Um, next, on this uh, wooden sheet, um, there's this piece right here. We need to pop that out. And we're going to take that and we're going to put it into the um, fiberglass and it goes on the opposite side of the servo post right here. That's a nice tight fit. All right, pushing it down. Just double checking. Right, okay, so that's in there. And then I'll just put a drop of CA glue to lock that in place. Okay, so now there's also, here's, you've got a couple of options here. Um, on the balsa, or on the plywood sheet, there's a round one. It's, um, it's kind of like a washer. Um, because this thing is not fat enough. So, um, but when we, this is going to be redesigned so that that piece looks like this. It kind of matches this piece here. Um, but in the future, we may make this piece out of, out of fiberglass, just like the board. And in that case, then you can use the round one. <laughs> but we'll probably just still keep it like this. This is just a spacer. So we're going to put that right there, and that's going to be glued into place. And because it, it goes all the way down to the board, it actually adds a little bit more strength. Um, so just line it up, um, and then we're going to glue it in place. So I'm just going to put some glue on this. And I also want to get it on the bottom. Make sure that hole lines up like that. And then we'll glue that down there just like that. Now you can put a fillet of glue on this side, but don't put it on this side because this side, um, this bulkhead is gonna go on there and it's gotta go nice and flush up against it. Um, so if you want, you can put a fillet of glue right there. Um, and I'll kick that off. You know, and that's for extra strength. All right, so that was a couple of options, um, but that's the one we're probably gonna use from here on out. Um, now, um, there's a weld nut right here. This is what the weld nut looks like. Um, it's got threads on the inside, and we're gonna glue that to right there, just like that. So just take your super glue perimeter around there. Just make sure when you drop that in there you don't get it into the threads. Just like that. And I'm going to put some accelerator on that as well. Just so that stays in place. Alright, we're moving along here. <laughs> oh, it popped out. It's not kicked off yet. Okay. Okay, next. We're going to take the switch right here. And on this plate right here, there's on and off. And we're going to pop those pieces of wood out. And then the switch... I think I'm done with that for a while. Um, it has two little screws. We're going to unscrew those. And take off the face plate. So the last time I used the switch, it was in the off position. So I want to align it like here to the off position. Now you have an option. You can put the face plate back on or you can leave it off. 
the little screws that came with it, they're not long enough to go through the face plate and screw back into the switch body. So in the kit, you'll find two screws that are a lot longer, and that's what they're for. They're kind of a replacement for these screws right here that are short. So if you want to use the face plate, um, you got to use the longer ones. And my, my switch, I can see that it's, you know, I don't have off in the right direction. Okay. And you probably want to verify that where it says off, like right here, is actually off. So I'm going to plug everything back together again and just double check to make sure everything's working. So this goes to the battery. So let me find my receiver transmitter. And then this one is plugged into that. And if I turn it on, okay, I'm getting beeping, which I think is that something is um, flipped. So I'm going to take this one and flip it. All right, so now I got the steady light and my servo, if I put the spline back on, should move. Okay, so that's verifying that I have it on, and now it went off. So you want to do that, otherwise you got to take the switch, take the screws out, and flip it around so that it matches what's etched on the board. Okay, so everything's working, so everything's good so far. All right, so um, we have my switch um, into there, which is what I wanted. So um, next um, will be the start of the rigging of the parachute. So I'm going to do that in the next video. So this was step two, and now we'll go... Well, actually, in the instructions, I don't know what number it is, but we'll get there. So we'll be back in the next video.